Hi, everyone, and welcome to Talk Tuesday. Episode 8, Choices, okay? Hmm. So, I'll just start out by saying that, yeah, Issa, the Tiffany move really had her thinking. Oh, and let me say 4765. That was a house number, you know. Just throwing that out there. Anyway, so the scene that cracked me up, yeah. We don't share toothbrushes. I don't care what stuff we do in the bedroom. (laughs) We are not sharing toothbrushes. And that was a funny scene. What I didn't like was the suicide joke, so to speak. Or the scene where the woman's like, you stopped me. I stopped here before going to the bridge. Like... I understand there could be things that can help people. I don't know. That just kind of rubbed me a little bit on the wrong way. Maybe I'm just missing the whole thing. Now, the scene with Molly, Kelly, and Issa's brother. Kelly is just, (laughs) yeah, Kelly is just a mess. So the brother, we all know, can cut with his words, and he was just too funny. That was a funny scene. So I see the designer is back. And as I said in an episode prior recap, that they will need you before you need them. And this is where the choices come in. So the company that she's working with is giving her a choice. The designer has come and given her a choice. Yeah. Now, the scene of her talking to herself (laughs) or, you know, herself, yeah, in the mirror, we need to be our own hype people. Now, that's the kind of hype person, yes, that we should be at all times for ourselves because we can't always rely on others to hype us up when we need it. But she does need to kind of get out of her head. But anyway, okay, let me get on. I was like, don't sucker us. Don't sucker us with this whole showing us the future and going through these scenes. And then at the end, you're winding up with, you know, foot up the behind, so to speak. So yeah, no, 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 no. Now I will say talking to the parents, your parents about their final paperwork and getting their accounts together and having um, the right documentation signed is vital but it is rarely one that is had in our community, but it needs to be an ongoing type of situation. Don't wait till you're gone and have family scrambling, especially your children who are grieving to be looking for paperwork. It was a difficult discussion that I had with my mom and dad, but I knew exactly where to go for her paperwork. Um, when she did pass and it wasn't, I'm looking all over the house. It was go to one spot and I actually had a copy of it. So I didn't need the, the documentation that she had. So anyway, you get the gist. Talk to your parents. That is one thing that I did agree with in that, um, segment that they showed. Now I'm just going to say Issa needs a Lawrence exorcism. Yes, I said exorcism. She needs a Lawrence exorcism. And I'm going to repeat it again, an exorcism. You know how it is when you're trying to forget and move on, but the memories come back. Yeah, she needs an exorcism. And Molly took a big step, like actually talking about what she's feeling at the moment versus just going through the motions. She would have had a horrible date. But she said this isn't the right time and explained why. And sir, you are a gentleman. Yeah, you're a gentleman. You sent that wine and the wings. You're a gentleman. Mm. So with choices, I just wanted to say that I feel that Issa should be able to do both. Work with the company and then separately work with the designer Hopefully that could be part of the choices that she's going to have to make, but she needs an exorcism from Lawrence. Yeah. Cause 
Just kind of waiting for the other shoe to drop. Choices. Issa, don't do it. All right, everybody. That's my recap of episode eight of season five, the final season of Insecure. Hope you enjoyed this talk Tuesday. They became an Insecure Monday. Mm, Love y'all. Be well, wear your mask. Bye. (laughs) Thank <laughs> you.